dear curiosity minds in this video you have clear idea about paper review and its types my name is bos babu sembana you know that as a as a author you are pub, you want to publish a paper in conference or general but but every general every conference will have review process these are several review process are there if you want to publish your paper either conference your paper publish in either conference or general whatever it may be this is the conference approaching method and the different types of conferences method and the different types of conference methods and how it is work working mechanism and how the entire process are there this is the conference approaching method next one next one if you want to publish your paper in a conference mode then submit from conference either conference it process done through pre process and post process pre process proceedings and post conference proceedings are there their input pre processing conference they have generally called as a input and after that publishing after that um, generalized review based on generalized review it based based on generalized review and check plagiarism and review report in that case generally called as a process finally that output comes publication general publication comes online between 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 pre processing and post processing they have one particular mechanism is there that is generally called as a review here author opted in post review either peer review or generalized review then what is the in the way general in general publication workflow workflow also author wants to submit a article then the general screens your manuscript either either plagiarism check and word sentence and along with all those thing if the suitable for publication and journal then goes to peer review otherwise there is a rejection stage desk rejection stage that is regret your article simply rejected then accepted it is suitable for publication then go through peer review then the peer review paper is sent for peer review to two or more reviewers for here no one can knows no one knows what the paper is reviewed this is the review system after review the reviewer checks the paper quality and their and the internal um, results and what it may be finally it give the quality to comments based on their comments they sends to the general editorial office general editorial office decided to either weak or medium or immediate or strong acceptance ratio then if, if any minor review or major reviewers are required then finally you say uh, send back to author send back to author if uh, send back to author then author revises the paper and sends the back the general based on review report review report 1 then editorial manager sends a request to round 2 either review gen review who are authorized to review for second one then revised the paper then he is give the qualitative check uh, qualitative inputs and accepted by the reviewers either major review minor review and immediate review based on their uh, qualitative acceptance then finally the editorial office give the acceptance acceptance ratio either accepted the publication process will go on laterally if their paper is rejected at the stage of second review paper also not processing to the journal or conference this is the publication process submission and how to approach the method and rephrase and this is the peer reviewed process and review process these are generally we have we know that the review process the review are generally 3 to 5 okay named reviewers open referencing and commenting they give the commenting article re revision through the general editing officer finally 
comes outline based on review report this is the mechanism and this is the other general general mechanism how does works entire paper submission to until publication of the paper okay general general generally the, the, those are seven common types of peer reviews are there generally the first one single blind peer review and double blind peer review and open peer review and collaborative peer review and third party peer review and post publication peer review and cascading peer review here what is the single blind peer review here author don't know who are reviews are but their review are aware of the author's identity when they decided to accept or reject document for review as well as throughout the review process here review process is going on here we, at the time of review author don't know whether which one your paper is reviewed this is the first one this is the single blind review here double blind review similar to similarity similar to single single blind review but here both parties are not aware to each other identity who are author who are uh, reviewer not not known anything here the medium and the complete process done through editorial board manager editorial board next final third, third one open peer review here open peer review here authors and peer reviewers both known each other their identities then uh, at that stage at that uh, in this case um, when the submission at the submission at the submission point of view uh, general at the submission point of view uh, editorial manager or reviewer system automatically suggested uh, give your significant three reviews from your end our suggestions review your end or oppositions please suggest oppositions from your end like this this is the open peer review and collaborative peer review this is also one type of good platform this type of peer review occurs there on your platform provides a journal where authors and reviewers can discuss how the papers can be improved just like this kind of environment uh, look like a peer review like a look like a post print or pre print okay then third party peer review here third party peer review authors get their manuscript reviewed by independent peer review services before they approach any journal based on the reviews they make changes to the paper then submit to the general generally this kind of environment done through uh, like um, archive axio and preprint uh, most of the cases for universities and iisc bangalore and many iits are openly send their article to peer review like uh, preprint laterally they collected peer review or review significant review from open openly like uh, academia and research gate and synopsis like this okay laterally they give quality to comments from their end they improved their self they were improved based on their review and sense a quality to paper through from their end here year preprint also gives the scopus indexing uh, pap, uh, most of the axiv and cornell university what it may be most of the papers peer review papers like um, preprints preprints are not reviewed by anyone why because it is it is easily it is easily it is easily submitted by anyone but it is available open access mode they are they are uh, they are easily and looking and welcome for comments from the open environment okay this is the uh, third party peer review this is the next one sixth one post publication peer review here after publication after publication the the general provides a platform such as a discussions so discussions such a forum for post publication commenting once published a paper is available on a platform anyone who reads 
it can post their comments and views about their view about their paper is generally this kind of environment uh, more available in um, iterably and elsewhere platforms and various platforms also available and cascading peer review here cascading peer review one general rejects from your paper but another general the general suggest to another general this is your suitable to publish your general and this is your article also suitable for your in this field this kind of environment generally called as a cascading peer review here those are seven common types of peer review process are there first one single blind peer review and double blind peer review open peer review and collaborative peer review and third party peer review and post publication peer review and cascading peer review okay thank you very much please like and subscribe and share your circle finally please give me comments for creating more valuable information finally thank you thank you very much